Good evening. You're watching City News at 6. Our top story tonight, members of a B.C. Supreme Court jury have reached a verdict in the murder trial of a man accused of killing a 13-year-old Burnaby girl. Our Monica Gould, who's been in court closely following the proceeding, joins us live. Yeah, Kate, uh, thanks. Uh, it's been a dramatic day, and we weren't sure if we were going to get a verdict today. But just hours ago, jury members found Ibrahim Ali guilty of first-degree murder. They only began deliberations late yesterday evening, and this morning they actually had a question to the judge. They needed to get clearer definitions of the available and possible verdicts. The judge gave them an answer uh, this afternoon, and not even 10 minutes later, the jury said they had a verdict, which they delivered to a full courtroom. People who have been watching this trial closely say they're relieved. Finally, we got this result. So it's kind of release for me because I can finish my five years, like, you know, come from Coquitlam to Vancouver to follow his case. Yeah, I'm done. And I hope our justice, our Jewish system can be more, maybe more uh, high efficiency, not like this. Justice has finally been served. The process has been too long. And it's a closure in procedure, in terms of procedure. And uh, the pain and the loss will never end. We can, all, we, can, we can imagine, you know, such a young girl, right, died at such a young age. The victim, a 13-year-old girl, was found dead in Burnaby Central Park in July 2017. She can't be named because of a publication ban. Ali was charged with first-degree murder in September 2018. He's been in custody since. The trial, which was scheduled for three months, finally ended this week, more than eight months after it began. It dragged on because of a number of twists and turns, including jury illnesses, the death of an expert witness, and, as we can report on now because the jury is sequestered, Ali's mental and physical health struggles and death threats his lawyer said he received. During the trial, the jury heard from dozens of Crown witnesses, including experts, who said the girl was sexually assaulted and strangled, and Ali's semen was found inside her body. Ali's lawyer didn't call any evidence, saying the Crown hadn't proven its case, and during closing arguments, suggested the victim wasn't the innocent portrayed during trial, and the Crown had only proven that Ali and the victim had sex and not that he killed her. Now that Ali has been found guilty of first-degree murder, sentencing is next. Now, a date for the sentencing hearing hasn't been set yet, but first-degree murder carries a mandatory sentence of life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.